Hi, this is JB from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another uh, parallel the Dream Eaters campaign playthrough. And this time we are uh, continuing the B side or the waking side with the parallel Roland Banks. We are in the scenario point of no return and we only got four experience in the last scenario, getting defeated at the last minute there, but it is what it is and uh, we uh, received one mental trauma to uh, Roland Banks, but uh, we have four experience So let's hop over to arkhamcdb.com and see what upgrades I did to the deck Okay, and here is my upgrades I did to the Roland's parallel investigator deck for this scenario so I uh, haven't had much use of Tetsuomori. I think uh, I usually find what I need uh, soon enough, so I decided to drop Tetsuo for two field agents. This is a newer card from the Scarlet Keys Investigator expansion, so it works uh, quite similarly to Beat Cop, but for clues. So these boosts are intellect, with, which is great, and also we can take uh, horror on it and get fast clues, which will help us get uh, clues faster and focus on fighting. So, uh, two copies of those added, and that is for experience, so that is everything I have upgraded to the deck. So, let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, and uh, we are set up here, so we start in the vaults of Zin, and because Randolph survived his uh, descent, uh, we start with uh, Act 1 uh, A version 2 in play. So, we need to find um, Rickard Upton uh, Pickman from somewhere here, so let's see how this goes, so let's get started. Okay, well, let's draw our opening hand and see what we get, so one, two, three, four, five cards, hoping to get the axe immediately. Well, we did, we get double bandolier, mm, I'll keep one of those. I'll actually keep the scene of the crime also, and uh, just shuffle one of those bandoliers. Take the initiative is also good, so vicious blow. I think that's good enough. Um, that's actually a really good start. We probably won't play bandolier immediately. We'll play the runic axe, and because we have the uh, heirloom. Uh, Upgraded on it. It has one minus one cost and gains the relic trait. So we can play runic axe or actually first we'll play uh, Scene of the crime We can do that as a fast action play the runic axe and move so Yeah, let's see how this goes. So uh, Yeah Let's see First off so we can only fight twice, move only twice, and we cannot play more, more than two cards a turn. But that's okay. Uh, as a fast action, we will play this inside traded card and grab this clue. First real action is to play the runic axe. We have four charges on it. And that is all of our resources, but I think we are pretty well set up at this moment already. Second action. <clears throat> we will actually move to City of the Gugs. Oh yeah, uh, before anything else we will uh, flip this Veiled card over. Okay, so search the encounter deck and discard pile for a ghast enemy and spawn it here. Exhaust that and with one clue on it shuffle the encounter deck. Flip this card back over. So we're not actually moving anywhere yet. <laughs> okay, so we search for a ghast enemy. I think we'll just kill it. Because we get the clue. So that guy has a clue and is exhausted. 
So we will just hit it with the axe. Okay, so second action, we will hit it with the axe. And uh, let's see, we have uh, four combat, and uh, this gives us five. And we spend one to get plus one damage. Zero, that glass is dead. And we get the clue. Last action. We'll move to, into the city of the Gux. And uh, post after you enter the city of the Gux, flip it over and resolve it. Text on the other side. <coughs> so, spawn the set as a Gug Sentinel enemy at this location with one clue on its test agility tree. If you succeed, Gug Sentinel enters play exhausted and in unengaged, otherwise it enters the play engaged with you, flip this card back over. So, uh, we'll search for the Gug enemy. Gug Sentinel, well that only has four, well only four health. Um, we are testing uh, agility 2 versus 3, so we pretty much will engage this enemy. Well, it's a plus one. Uh, so, scratch that. This guy has one clue on it. He's exhausted. And uh, next turn, we can defeat it and get the clue. Okay. Well, uh, that is everything. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. So, this guy readies and uh, engages us. So, we'll just mark this guy up. And we draw a card, another bandolier, and gain a resource. So that is that round. Uh, let's go to the next round. We add a do one of five, encounter card. Oh, so just shuffle it back there because I saw what that was. So ancient evils was the card we drew. Uh, so we add one doom here. Okay, well, that's not bad. Uh, this is ready, so... We have this uh, Gug Sentinel, which has five, five fights and four health on it, uh, so... I think we are just fighting. Oh yeah, this replenishes one. So, we will fight using... So, first action fight. Uh, we will take the initiative for this. We are fighting 5, 6, 7, 8 versus 5, uh, dealing plus 2 damage, and we'll we just blow it to boot. So, we are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and dealing 4 damage. Skull. Skull is X. X is the amount of damage on the, this card. So it is zero. And we will defeat this uh, Gug Sentinel. It goes into the victory display. We get the clue. Really good start. Well, we had the wrong symbols. It doesn't matter. Okay. So, <clears throat> second action. We will investigate. And I am investigating three versus two. Plus one. Well, uh, we get this clue also, and we get the flip. Uh, oh yeah, this this doesn't have veiled, so we just get the clue. Last action. We'll move to the Tower of Koth, and it is a five shroud zero clue location. But there is an action test. Uh, combat five to lift the heavy stone trapdoor at the top of the tower. If you succeed, flip this card over and resolve its text. Okay, we try to do that. But that is our whole turn. 
we ready, we draw guts and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom encounter card for this round is dissonant voices. Uh, we can't play assets or events. That doesn't bother us. We'll try to do the test here and I'm actually committing both of the bandoliers. So we are uh, four, five, six versus five skull. We succeed. So we get to flip this card. So put the set aside Enchanted Woods uh, Stone Trap Door location into play revealed. Record in your camp log. The investigators found a way out of the underworld. Flip this card back over. So uh, we have succeeded in finding a way out of here. And this only matters at the end of the campaign. But uh, I know that that location has victory points on it, but I am not really set up to investigate. Uh, I, I think that had... Well, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, Shroud of Two, only one clue, two victory points. Uh, while you are investigating this location, it gets plus one Shroud for each card in your hand. So, uh, we'll try to investigate. So... We are three versus three. Okay. And uh, well, we have a lot of zeros and skulls, which are zero now. And plus one and uh, oh, mm, elder sign. Okay. And it is a skull, so it is a zero. And it had one clue, so we grab that clue. And we get the victory point from that. At the end of the turn, this discards be ready up. We draw. Flashlight, gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We will... We'll add a Doom. And we get an encounter card. Ancient Evils, which will actually advance this. That's not nice. Okay. Um... The bad dog and shuffle the encounter disc file into the encounter trip. Place one damage on the scenario reference card. So now skulls are not zero, they are minus one. And uh, they set by monster, so uh, for Doom Threshold, but hint the game will not necessarily end when this agenda advances, but the stability of reality will continue to unravel. So we better get a move on. Okay, well, um, I think we will just double move. Oh yeah, uh, we of course need to draw an encounter card for this round. So we needed to shuffle the discard pile into the encounter deck first, which we are doing, and uh, we draw Whisper of Hypno, so I'll pick uh, Willpower and Agility. So, first action move, second action move. Uh, we can't move any further this round, so I'll draw a card as my last action. Scene of the Crime. Well, helpful for later, but not for now. So that is our turn, no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw another Guts. And we gain a resource. This goes away at the end of the round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card for this round is uh, Taste of Lifeblood. Test Willpower 3. For each point you fail by, you must choose place one of your clues on the location. Place one of your clues on the nearest enemy or take one damage. Uh, we are committing guts. So four, 5 versus 3. Plus one, we succeed, and we draw a card from the guts, Hunter's Armor, okay. So, we will play Hunter's Armor. Uh, it takes up an arcane slot, as it is upgraded and only costs three. 
we will move to Plane of the Ghouls and uh, we might as well try to investigate so I'm committing the flashlight uh, we are 4 versus 4 minus 3, uh, we don't succeed so that's not good but next round we can uh, grab it with the scene of the crime Okay, and uh, that's our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. Uh, prepared for the worst, and we gain a resource. Uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom, two of four. Encounter card is it is the hunting ghast. Okay, so that enemy engages us. After an enemy with one or more clues, or to take control. Yeah, it doesn't spawn with clues on it, fortunately. Okay, well, um, let's mark this sucker up. Engage with us. No clues on it. Uh, first, uh, oh yeah, this should have replenished uh, quite a while ago. So first action is to actually exhaust uh, this we will play scene of the crime as a fast action to grab this clue flip this card over so if investigators possess at least three clues uh, the investigators must spread, uh, spend three clues per investigators clue advance this the current act flip this card back over so we are advancing this. Uh, an unlikely ally. Choose an investigator to take control of the set asset. Rich star Rickard Upton Hickman story asset. For the remainder of the scenario, if Rickard Upton Hickman uh, leaves play, remove him from the game. Put each uh, set aside bay location. Play, find each card from the striking peer encounter set. Even if they are out of play, remove them from the game. And I'll do that uh, before the next round. So, shovel to set aside Terror of the Whale and Night Guns encounter sets into the encounter deck along with the encounter disco bar. Okay. So, well, we'll do the uh, remove the striking here so that. Those are annoying, and I'm happy to see them go. Don't want any frozen fears into play. Okay, then we get the terror in the veil and count to set. And what else? Um, a night guns and counter set. And we put the veil locations into play. One, two, three, four. Okay. And the discard pile also. So these are removed. Now. Uh, we have these locations in play. I'm just gonna put them in play in a minute. I'll just shuffle these quickly a bit more. Okay. Then we have the. So this location is connected to the crack of the ghouls, which is connected to. Uh, let's see, Sea of Bones. Vale of the North and Peaks of the Fog. Just put them into play like so. So I'm just gonna do this so I have a bit more room. We are not traveling back there anymore, so. Okay. 
then we put some location connections there and also some proof because these are again showing uh, their true values etc. We can travel there. From here uh, you can travel here and also from there you can travel here and here and from here to here. Okay. Just double checking so um, yeah we can also travel from Let's switch these up a bit. And now should be correct. And from Vale of Path, uh, we can travel the last locations we need later on. Okay, well, uh, so. Again, that was the first action doing the uh, so we get the yes, this is a long mid game setup which I hate to do on camera. Where is the story asset here? So we get this guy. So this guy has three health, so uh, uh, fast trigger ability, exhaust rickshaw, upon Pikman, choose a ghoul enemy at your location and attach it to him face down. Uh, exhaust rickshaw, upon Pikman, fight you, attack with the base skill of 5. Instead of standard damage, this attack deals damage equal to the number of face down encounter cards. So we can uh, recruit a ghoul army. So the descent uh, forced after an enemy with one or more clues on its defeated, take control of each of those clues. And objective, find a way to the Sea of Pitch. Okay, now back to our, our regular turn. So, uh, fast action was done. So, first action will be to just hit this school away. And we are fighting uh, this ghast actually. So, this uh, is uh, 5 versus 2. Minus 3, that's enough, and we boosted the uh, damage, so this is defeated. Second action, we'll move to the crag of the ghouls. And... Uh, don't have good ways to investigate here, so I'll commit, uh, continue moving to the Sea of Bones. Oh yeah, we spent three clues last round. Uh, or advanced, so. Well, we have three clues, we could just ignore... We have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Uh, 5 victory... 6 victory points already. And... Uh, so fight, move, move. That's our turn. Okay, no enemies will go up if we draw a card. Random card, so we gain a resource. That is that round. What a long round it was, so let's go to the next round. Okay, and um, we add a Doom. Encounter card is uh, unexpected ambush. If there are no enemies in play, take one damage and one horror. So we'll take one damage and one horror. And that is it. And uh, we'll actually put it onto the hunter's armor. And then we will. Um, I was thinking that. Uh, because we are nearly to advance this, we need to get to the Sea of Pitch as fast as possible. But I think we need extra clues. 
So this should be an easy location to grab who, but I'll play Randolph Carter. Now we have a willpower and intellect of four. So we'll investigate two versus four. Uh, four versus two. Minus one. We'll grab this clue and uh, we decide not to flip this damn location over. Oh yeah, after you discover, we have to flip it over. Well, that, that sucks. Okay. If there is no doll tunnel at this location, search the encounter deck and discard by follow doll tunnel and attach it, attach it to this location if able. Shuffle the encounter deck. Okay. And the Slytherin doll is not in play. Okay. Search for a doll. Tunnel. And if Slytherin Doll is in play, move it on uh, to this location and add two clues on it. Otherwise, search and hunter deck, discard pile and victor display for Slytherin Doll and spawn it at this location, exhausted and with two clues on it. So, oh yeah, this uh, replenished start of the round. We could actually kill this guy. Slytherin Doll, so five health. Uh, Mm, yeah, fight three, so we could spend all, well, we can only imbue three times, so. We're not able to kill it, so I think we are just uh, moving away from this. So this guy is here. And two clues on it. And it is exhausted. Okay, so last action, we'll just move away, and that is our turn, no enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, this guy ready is, we get a resource and draw a card, and we get perception. Okay, well, yeah, that's everything, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. So we add a Doom, so the agenda advances. And uh, each investigator must either discard one card at random from their hand, or lose two resources. We can't lose any resources, so, or we have only one resource to lose, so... Shuffle the encounter, discard pile into the encounter deck, place one damage onto the scenario reference card. Then, if there are five or more, resolution two, otherwise split this card back over, so two, this flips back over, and we have to lose uh, two cards from our hand, uh, guts and uh, prepared for the worst, well, it is what it is, so we also shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck, Oh yeah, uh, last turn we could have moved here, but we didn't, so it, that's, that's life, I think. Okay. Uh, first, oh yeah, we throw an encounter card. Uh, hunting guest, okay, well, that sucks. Uh, let's see, we will defeat the hunting gas by hitting it. And plus damage, and this is a minus two now, but we still hit and defeat it. Uh, for second action we will move. And last action we will investigate, and we are four plus perceptions of six versus four. Six versus, yeah, so 
four, three, four, five, six versus four. Another skull, so minus two will grab the clue, will draw a card, field agent, and we get to flip this over. So we have three of uh, three clues to spend. Uh, the investigator advanced the current act and flip this card back over. Put the set aside depths locations into play, shuffle the set aside descent into the pitch, and the agents of Atlak Nacha encounter sets into the encounter deck along with the discard pile. And uh, for now, objective is to find the source of the distortion, and we will be instructed. Advance, so we get the, uh, these encounter sets shuffled in along with the discard. And unfortunately, the dole will hunt to us and hit us, but it is what it is. We have plenty of soak, so we can just ignore it or try to kill it next round. And uh, then we get the veil locations into play. It's going to be a really fat encounter deck now, so we have no idea what's coming. So uh, we shuffle these. These are all connected there and to each other, so I'll just place them in a straight line and can move to any of those. But that was my uh, uh, turn done, so we'll move this doll on us. It is massive, so it just comes here, hits us for one damage and one horror. Randall Carter can tank. And that is that, so be ready up. We get another runic axe and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom and counter cards for this round is lit by death fire. Each investigator loses one resource. Each investigator at the whale or depths location chooses and discard one card from their hand. Each investigator at depths location loses one action. Okay. So we lose an action, we lose a resource, and we have to discard a card from our hand, and I think field agent needs to go. It has worse icons for our intents and purposes. So this round, I will just... Uh, oh yeah, this replenishes. I will use two resources to hit with plus two damage. So, yeah, we are hitting for uh, 4, 5 versus 3, I'll go 6 versus 3, minus 1, we will deal uh, 3 damage. Sec uh, last action, I will get plus 2 and hit for plus 1 damage. Elder sign. Well, we can ignore something, but it is plus two, and this is defeated. It is victory point one, so we place it over there for now, and we'll gain these two resources, which is good. That is our turn. No enemy actions. We go to upkeep. We draw paranoia. We lose one resource, uh, one of our resources, or all of our resources, and gain a resource. So that didn't affect us at all. But we don't have any cards in hand, which is bad. But well, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a Doom. Encounter card for this round is... Grey Weaver. So, while Grey Weaver is ready, each investigator at its location cannot take move actions. Okay, well... 
I am exhausting this directive to uh, evade, parlay, etc. Get plus two to our evasion. This gets one token. Uh, we are evading uh, four versus three. Minus one. That enemy is evaded, so lucky us. We will move. Oh yeah, these have clues. So uh, we will investigate our last action. Uh, investigating four versus two. Yeah. Uh, minus three. If you fail by two or more, we don't. But we fail. But. We get to exhaust Randall, Carter, and draw two cards. Vicious Blow and Hunter's Armor. Okay. Well, that is our turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. Upkeep these ready. We draw a card, crack the case, gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, encounter card is. Taste of lifeblood, test willpower 3. For each point you fail by, you must choose place one of your clues on the location, place one of your clues on the nearest enemy, or take one damage. We are committing the hunter's armor to this test. Uh, we are 5 versus 3. Or the fail. Okay, well, that sucks. Um, so we fail by 3. I'll take three damage. Okay. First action. Investigate. Four versus two. Plus one. We'll grab this clue. We get to flip this one over. Set all the all of the clues from each sea of pits aside. Discard all other Tokens and attachments from the Sea of Pits. Flip this card back over and shuffle the position of each. Blah blah blah. That sucks. Distribute and each Sea of Pits may be flipped over again using this. They're veiled. Okay. Uh, Okay, well, uh, we will flip this card again, that's availed, there are no clues on it, or I think we have to put this back, I'm not sure, but I think, okay, well, we will investigate, oh yeah, crack the case, we got two resources. So we are investigating for... Wait, we don't need the resource. We want to save this when the agenda advances. Okay, so 4 versus 2. Skull, we succeed. We get to see what's underneath here. And it is the same one. I can't believe it. Okay. And now I'm actually checking if I need. Okay, so we didn't add any clues. Okay. So we only have two locations with clues on them anymore. Uh, okay. Well, I'm putting them 
here and here. So I can just uh, veil this again. I can't believe it. This has the same exact text. So I'm just doing the same thing but switching these. Because this will take ever ever no, well let's let's do it the correct way. This is maybe the uh, most annoying mechanic of this scenario, but it is what it is. Other than that, I quite like this scenario. This is an interesting one. Okay, so we do the veiled again. It is again the same. Um, now I have to check how many of these have the... Okay. So there is... Oh, I'm, I'm baffled how I'm able to do this get uh, getting this one card okay so now now hopefully they are not uh, this isn't the same location okay yeah so look at the other side of in of another copy of sea of pitch flip this card back over I'll see what's here so this is where we need to go so we'll go there as our last action and that is it, so enemy face, this enemy hunts here, engages us, hits us for one damage and two horror, one horror there, and the hunter's armor breaks, why not, and a wheel go to upkeep, we draw a card, drawn to the flame, encounter bar, uh, and the one Clue. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, we add a doom, so this advances again. So place one damage here. Uh, not five, so we. So each investment either discard one card at random from their hand or lose two resources. We lose two resources, we don't need them. We shuffle the encounter discard pile back into the encounter deck. Ah, okay. I think this is the last turn. We can just draw to the flame, uh, take some damage, and uh, flip this card over. Okay. So we get Taste of Blood. We are testing uh, 4 versus 3. Minus 2. Uh, we place one of our clues onto this enemy. First, ah, we'll place it onto the location. First action, we will actually do this as a fast action so we don't get uh, attack of opportunity. We'll play Drawn to the Flame, draw one card from here. Test. Uh, willpower 2. This test gets plus 1 difficulty, so it's willpower 5. If you fail, take 1 damage and 1 horror. We are testing it uh, 4 versus 5. Minus 2, we fail, we take 1 damage and 1 horror. Okay, we get these two clues. We get to flip this. And we spend 3 clues. And uh, we get to advance the act. So, under the sea of pitch, so we dive in and resolution 1. So that, that is game. Great, great job from Roland this time. Okay, um, resolution 1. Uh, for each damage on the scenario reference card, record one tally mark next to the steps of the bridge in your camp log. So that is 3. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory axe value of each card in the victory display. Uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9, exp uh, yeah, nine experience. That's really good. And then we 
to the interlude and after that we can play Weaver of the Cosmos with Roland so the scenario of RB and after that we will end the campaign by playing the scenario uh, for a uh, where gods dwell with parallel skids. But yeah, that was uh, the point of no return with uh, Parallel Roland. Uh, this went pretty well. Um, this is a time crunch uh, scenario and I'm not a fan of this uh, last uh, mechanic of this this uh, scenario, but it is what it is and we got there. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.